this whole thing about what we are talking of as spiritual growth is not something that you have to do. It is something that will happen by itself if only you allow the necessary atmosphere, if only you don't keep hampering it in a million different ways. Why would I hamper my own growth? <clears throat> you hamper your own growth because of the many things that you think as yourself, your belief that you are many things that you are not is the reason why one would hamper their own growth. When you believe yourself to be something other than who you really are, then whatever you try to do, you will only try to protect those things which you think you are. In this simple process of self-preservation, constant destruction of the possibility of the seed of the divine to flower is restricted in a million different ways. This huge power, this huge urge within every being, within every creature on the planet for self-preservation, there is nothing wrong with it. It is very essential. It is just that once this instinct of self-preservation crosses its domain, does not know where it should stay, it extends itself into all things in your life, then you start protecting things which you should not be. You start protecting things to dissolve which you are doing the necessary sadhana. All the sadhana that is being done to dissolve a certain dimension is… gets protected in so many different ways simply because the instinct of self-preservation, you don't know where to keep it, it is encroaching into all areas of life. <clears throat> in this context, so much is happening in day-to-day -day life. In every transaction that you make with people around you, just see how you try to protect things which should actually be given up. If one is really interested in growth, all those things that we should become free of, we try to protect them because we are so identified with it. Because somewhere you believe you are that. Once you get identified with your limitations, protecting them becomes a natural process. All the limitations that we have, whatever kind they are, if only we are simply conscious that these things should go, then you don't have to do much about them going, they'll go anyway. But once you make an effort to protect those things, then they cannot go. Now, your whole system, what you call as life, is trying to protect it. All your energies are directed towards protecting it. So whatever limitations one has, whatever restricts us, whatever limits us, whatever makes us small, if we just become conscious that these things need to go, no matter how comfortable it is right now to be in those things, then they have to go. <clears throat>